One thing in the camera game that's usually a hard decision is finding the right vlogging camera. I'm speaking in the traditional sense, of course. Cameras that are good for holding in front of your face and talking to it while you're either walking or moving around or riding on something, whatever. Today we're gonna be comparing two of my favorite vlogging cameras that I personally own. The DJI Osmo Pocket and the Sony AX53, which is a camcorder, but we're gonna call it a camera for the purposes of this video. Intro. What's going on everybody? Tell me everything man here. For me, vlogging doesn't only mean walking around with a camera in front of your face and talking. When I think of vlogging, I think of a video log of your day or thoughts or feelings on something in that moment. I mean, really, vlogging can mean anything. But when I'm in the market for a new camera, I wanna make sure that it has all the vlogging capabilities, again, in the traditional sense. Something that's good for holding in front of me, walking, talking, vlogging, speaking, filming, and doing my thing. Good stabilization. So that if I do happen to be moving around, the footage isn't all shaky. A flip screen, something facing yourself so you can see yourself. Although I am a firm believer of if the autofocus is good enough, you don't really need a front facing screen. But if I have the option, sure, I'd take it. Which brings me to my next need out of a camera, which is good autofocus, really good autofocus. I would also prefer a focal length on the wider side. You don't want that frame all up in your face where it's just this in the camera and nothing else is being shown. You don't want that. You want something somewhat sort of wide. Always looking for something with a mic jack. Gotta have that good audio. Also for me, 4K. You might be perfectly fine with 1080p. My preference is 4K. Nothing wrong with either, but 4K is better. Some kind of a way to attach an ND filter is definitely a bonus. And of course, great image quality. The better the image quality, the happier I am. But most of these things all have to come together in one camera. As of right now that I know of, there is no camera on the market that checks off every single box on that list. At least not that I know of. But there are some that come pretty close. So it's really just a matter of what you can live without to make sure that you get your hands on what's most important for you. Today I'm gonna be comparing my two favorite walking and talking vlogging cameras that I personally own, the DJI Osmo Pocket and the Sony AX53. When you first look at these cameras side by side, they look very, very different. But when you take away the size comparison, they actually match up really, really well with each other. We'll go in no particular order. They both have non-detachable lenses, meaning the lens that you get is the lens that you're stuck with. They both have a way to attach a filter to the lens. With the AX53, you actually have a filter thread on the inside right on front here, so you could attach any filter that you want to this easily. And on the Osmo, this takes little magnet filters, just little tiny pieces of glass or plastic or whatever, you, whatever they are made of. You just snap them right on the front there and you're good to go. They both have really good image quality. They both shoot 4K up to 100 megabits per second. The Sony AX53 shoots 4K up to 30 frames per second, while the DJI Osmo Pocket shoots 4K up to 60 frames per second. They both have really good image stabilization to them. They both have a front facing screen. The Sony's is a lot bigger. Flip screen, touch screen, everything you need where the Osmo Pocket has a little one inch square screen on the front here. But hey, it's something. You could see yourself and see if you're in frame. It's something. But a bonus for the Osmo Pocket is you can attach a smartphone similar to this iPhone SE that I have here that I bought specifically for the DJI Osmo Pocket because it's so small and lightweight that it's not really cumbersome. It doesn't pull on this little adapter port right here. So it doesn't weigh down on it. If you got a big, huge phone like in 10s Max or a Note 9 or something like that, it's gonna put a lot of pressure on this little port here. But when you have something light like this, pops right on, pops right off, and now you have a nice size screen. I didn't mean to give you guys the finger. I like you guys, you guys are cool. Except for you, you always push thumbs down for some reason. Why you watch my videos if you're gonna go hit thumbs down? 
You jerk. They both have face detection with their autofocus, so whenever that camera picks up a face, it draws a box around it and it follows you anywhere you go. Now the DJI Osmo Pockets is slightly more advanced because once it locks on you and you move around without having to move the gimbal, the actual camera head swivels around and follows you wherever you go. And the same goes for tracking a subject. So if there's a person or an animal in sight that you see, you draw a little box around it and it's just gonna track it wherever it goes and you don't have to move the actual gimbal, the camera head's just gonna swivel and follow it does a pretty good job. It's pretty impressive. And the Osmo Pockets autofocus wasn't that great to start out with, but they keep pumping out firmware updates and the autofocus gets better and better with every firmware update. And at this point, I don't have too many complaints with it. The autofocus is not bad at all. It's still better than Panasonic's. They both have external mic options. Although DJI still, 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 has not released a USB-C mic adapter and apparently it's the only one that works. I bought a few myself, I tested them out, nothing works, so we have to wait on DJI's freaking adapter that they're like eight months late on already. You guys really, I've been going to bat for you here. I love this little thing. I've been telling everybody that adapter, it's coming soon. Don't worry about it. They're talking about it. People are wanting it. You got to release it already. Even if it's just in small increments and you don't have enough stock, put out what you got. Let people get their hands on it and let's get this ball rolling because we need, we need external microphones here because once you hit win with this thing, the little microphone ports do not handle wind noise very well at all makes the audio sound unusable sony's has a standard mount on top and a little microphone jack right on the side there so you just plug in an external mic like you would with any mirrorless camera or whatever so that pretty much takes care of all the selling points and what i'm looking for in a vlogging camera except for the wide focal length neither camera really has a super wide field of view but they're not really bad either. They're not terrible. And like I said, they compare well to each other. They have pretty much the exact same focal length as one another. The Osmo Pockets focal length is 25.7 according to DJI's forum and somebody that works at DJI, they posted it, 25.7. And the AX53 is 26.8 millimeters. So it's about one millimeter difference in focal length between these two. And the reason why I'm actually fine with that, why I'm good with that being the sacrifice that I have to make is I don't really enjoy holding whatever camera I'm filming with, with my bare hands anyway. I prefer some kind of mini tripod grip attached to it so that I could get some kind of extension. And when you got a 25, 26 millimeter focal length and you throw it on the grip and you extend it out a little bit, that makes it pretty wide. Let me show you something real quick with the Osmo Pocket, hold on. What I have here is a GoPro three-way stick. And what I have right here is the DJI Osmo Pocket mount. And what this does, oh, we have to take this little adapter off, which I don't like. I don't like that you have to remove that adapter. Now you have it on your three-way stick. Let's turn that bad boy on. Let's turn that bad boy around. Bend this and really extend it. And I wouldn't even have to extend it like that. I'd probably just lock it right there, elbow to ribs, baby. Shut that off. Power that down, unhook this here. Okay, is this a little hard to? Okay, what we got going on here? There we go. That's, the t that's what you do right then and there. So a grip is gonna take care of the not super wide focal length on this. And with this one, you could do the same thing, obviously not with the GoPro three-way stick, but you could put it on some kind of grip and then you really, up it up with that audio on top and then you can extend it and then you're going to still have the good audio there just a side note i really hope that dji makes an osmo pocket pro or a new updated version of the osmo plus with the big one inch sensor and it was a lot bigger something something little mixture of this and that and get something a little more pro i'd like a one inch sensor on there i'd like some kind of hybrid autofocus or dual pixel autofocus type thing even though, like I said, the autofocus isn't bad in this at all, you know, give us more, give us better. I'll pay double, I'll pay $700 for that, no problem. 500 maybe, don't quote me on the 700, let's make it five, five, 600. All right, seven, you got me. It's a deal. Both take photos, but. No.
No. Now you have full manual control pretty much on the DJI Osmo Pocket. You can adjust everything the way you like, get your ISO, your shutter speed, and so on. For some damn reason, some stupid reason, and it's really, really dumb, Sony decided to purposely handicap the AX53. You have manual controls, but you only have one manual control at a time. So for example, let's say you wanted your aperture at one certain number. Well, when you have aperture priority, everything else goes into automatic. So when you have aperture priority, ISO automatically changes to auto, shutter speed changes to auto, and there's nothing you can do about it. You can't switch them. You're stuck with one manual option at a time, and that's a damn shame. You handicapped us, Sony. You handicapped this device here, Sony. You did, son of a bitch. I'm going right for the nuts here. That's a cannon move, Sony. Feels like a cannon move to me. Feels like a cannon move. You pulled the cannon move. Way to go, cannon. I mean, Sony. Now let's get into my favorite part. We're talking about vlogging. Let's get into a little vlogging comparison of each of these bad boys right now. Let's go outside and check it out. And we'll come back in and wrap this son bitch up. All right. Now we're on the DJI Osmo Pocket. This is my first time actually using the official DJI mount for this. And basically it just little case that wraps around the bottom of the Osmo pocket and it allows it to attach to pretty much any GoPro mount hence why I have it on the three-way stick which allows me to stretch it out a lot and really get a nice wide field of view at this price point $350 the amount of features and capabilities and things that this little tiny camera can do and come in handy for there's nothing out there in the game like this. This really is a game changer. Now the difference between both of these cameras, what I could say is for the Osmo Pocket, I wouldn't really recommend this being your main camera. I would recommend this being a secondary camera where on the AX53, you can get away with that camera being your main YouTube camera. Now it's not a professional camera. You know, I wouldn't go try to do weddings or real estate properties or commercial work or advertisement work with it but if you just need a regular youtube camera i would have no restraints against recommending it all right so we're on the sony ax53 right now we have everything set to full auto full disclosure i had to reshoot this clip again because when i went and played the footage back i realized i did not have face detection on so autofocus was not that great it should be pretty good right now you get a chance to see the stabilization. I have this on a little grip. It's not even extended that far. My arm is about halfway bent. And you got a nice little field of view here. Nice little wide field of view. It's not super wide, but if I really wanted to extend this, I could bring these down. Now look at that. That's, I mean, that is full arm extension, so it's not ideal. You don't want to be walking with your arms straight out in front of you like you're sleepwalking. So, this is about comfortable. Elbow to rib. Got a good extent here. Got a nice place to rest my arm. It's not going to get tired. You're getting to see the video stabilization now. It's not going to be as good as the Osmo Pocket. Because again, the Osmo Pocket is a full-on miniature gimbal. This is just a floating lens that does a really exceptional job of compensating for your movement. If you want to get a little zoom action, let's see here. Let's see if we can read that sign. Alcohol beverage is prohibited. Look how far that is. All right, so that's the AX53. That's all I gotta tell you about that. It's getting windy, it's getting dark, sun's going down, and that's that. Both of these cameras are at the top of my YouTube vlogging camera list for recommendations. I support both of these all the way. If you own either one of these, I'm like, good job, buddy. You're gonna enjoy that. I hope you enjoy it. You should enjoy it. They're phenomenal cameras, especially for what we do here on YouTube. If you own 
one or both of these cameras please join the conversation below tell me which one you own tell me your experience with it do you still love it did you just get it do you hate it do you wish you never bought it tell me all about it i love to read your comments make sure you follow me on instagram at the underscore everything man if you are not subscribed please do so i'd appreciate it highly if you like this video Give it a thumbs up for me. Just give me one thumbs up. Don't hit it twice. It's going to take the first thumbs up away. Then you got to hit it a third time. One thumbs up will do just fine. Until next time, this is your boy. <laughs> this is your man. Tell me everything, man. Signing out. Salute. Raise your hands up. Raise them up.